seeing is you have online stores and online businesses and offline businesses. And I think because of this pandemic, I think those are merging together and you're going to have to find a way that you can do both. You just can't expect people to walk through your door anymore, right? And start asking you questions. You can't expect them to just pick up the phone and ask you questions anymore. You need to modernize the way that you do business in the way that people are doing business. Welcome to the Lion's Den, hosted by Lance Bachman. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Den today. Bill Russell, Vice President of Client Relations uh, here with One SEO. The big cat is out in lockdown right now, working with uh, Anthony Kane on product. So I am super excited this week uh, to be able to have a special guest in the den. Uh, and I have Mike Pavia, who is our agency uh, partner manager with Podium. Um, Mike, welcome to the den. Appreciate it. It's nice to, to be on with you. Thank you very, very much. Mike, I think one of the things that, you know, I always like to do is obviously you work for Podium. Uh, one of our, our products that we will relate to and push out to our clients and as far as where they can do a lot of different things as far as live chat on their site and Google review management, et cetera, et cetera. And we're going to get into that obviously a little bit later in the den. But, you know, we've been working together for quite some time, you know, between one SEO and Podium uh, from yourself to Kenny and Wade and, you know, a, a bunch of other folks. So you've been a great partner over time. So first and foremost, thanks so much uh, for the partnership with Podium. Um, you know, I think that uh, Podium from the first time that you know, five years ago when I kind of got involved with the product, it has evolved a tremendous amount. But um, what I want to do is give the audience just a little bit of background, you know, on who you are. Um, and then what we'll do is, as I like to do with our guests, is kind of give you some rapid fire uh, questions that kind of gives them stuff that they wouldn't know about you because you probably could talk podium and review management all day long, uh, as well as text message, pay by uh, credit card over and all the different things that Podium's coming out with as far as newest and latest greatest features. But uh, Mike Pavia went to the University of Utah, got a Ute in the house. Um, any any famous football players, basketball players when you were at school there? Yeah, um, my senior year up there, that was the big run that University of Utah had with Keith Van Horn um, and Andre Miller. Uh, so that was a, a fun time being up on campus when they made their run. I think now, it was 90, 98, 99. If I were to drive through your neighborhood right now, would there be more red youth flags? Would there be more BYU flags in the front yard? Or would there be more Utah State flag? We might even throw Weber in there, but what's the majority in your neighborhood? Neighborhood, I'll be honest, and I'm one of them, even though I went to the University of Utah, there's more Cougar fans rolling in my neighborhood, which I'm, I'm glad, but we do have that, a good little mixture, of mostly BYU fans and University of Utah fans. So well, it, It's interesting, prior to working at 1SEO, I worked for a company that was out of, of Logan uh, and a company called UK2 Group. Uh, obviously, that was many moons ago, but... Um, you know, as you make that trip up 15 and you're headed out of Salt Lake City, you can, or you're headed south towards, towards Vegas, you can see the change in flag color as you either go north or south and what people are having, um, whether you're in Davis County, Utah County, or, or Salt Lake County, um, in, in the direction that has. But it's, it seems like that there's a pretty equal nature of the flags that you see with the different people. So um, you obviously would have. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I said if you were going to do that 10, 15 years ago, it probably would have been more dominant, you know, BYU. But over the last 10 or 15 years, the University of Utah has just had a great run football wise and basketball. So you're starting to see more of those red flags come out. So, so you worked in the medical equipment sales at Dynatronics for and on the sales side for almost eight years. And you've been with Podium for the last three, which, um, you know, you probably started, you were somewhere in the employee number 300 range, and now you're probably up to employ 15,000 with the, the incremental <laughs> growth that has happened with Podium over the course of time. Um, you know, I think that from our standpoint, 
that obviously that transition is always tough to go from one industry to another. And Podium has obviously done a great job at what they have from a culture standpoint and the way that they've, they've helped you to understand the space of dealing with a lot of different verticals and now specifically agencies like ourselves. Um, but before I get into Podium, um, I want to kind of throw, like I said, my rapid fire questions uh, at you. There's probably four or five that I like to, to stick to as the standard that I ask all my guests to come on the den. And the first one is, um, tell me something about you that nobody knows. Great question. Um, to be honest with you, I have a special needs daughter. Okay. And what she likes to do is watch the Disney Channel, the Disney shows. And I enjoy watching Disney shows. It's kind of crazy. I'm a middle-aged man that enjoys sitting down on the couch with uh, my daughter. And there are some days where she's not on the couch and I'm still watching Disney shows. So <laughs> it, it, it's funny you say that because I have a five-year-old as well. And my daughter um, kind of swindled us into getting Crudes 2 coming out on Disney+. Plus. And yesterday, my 18-year-old is upstairs laughing at the TV. And I have no idea what he's laughing at. And my daughter's downstairs. And I'm like... Charlie, what are you watching? He's like, I'm watching Crudes too. So um, long story short, she's trying to swindle me into the next one that's coming out. I think it's called Ravia um, as far as on Disney Plus. But uh, talk about getting 12 million subscribers in a matter of whatever it was. It's crazy. Um, so, that, you know, it just shows you when you have the right content, how, how valuable it is to the end user. So uh, keep up with your Disney Plus. Um, what's your favorite hobby? Uh, coaching youth sports. Um, right. I'm a big, uh, big coach. Um, coach the, the main three, football, basketball, baseball, kind of lean more towards uh, expertise more in baseball, but been coaching for almost 20 years youth sports. So that's awesome. Um, where do you where do you live in the Salt Lake market? The south um, of Salt Lake in a small little community called Saratoga Springs. It's just west of Lehigh, Utah, where Podium um, yep. is actually there. Been living out here for, like I said, about 18 years. Um, I have a number of kids and I've just had the, the ability to, to coach them all um, in, like I said, football, basketball, baseball. And I just, I just love being with the kids. I love the sports. I love teaching them life lessons through sports, right? That's kind of, I grew up doing that. Um, and there was just so many, like I said, life lessons that I've learned through sports that I think it's it's valuable. So enjoy doing it. You spend a lot of time outdoors, skiing, snowboarding, snowmobiling, hiking. Southern California kid, born and raised, migrated over to Utah after 22 years. Still have never skied Utah. Wow, wow, that's incredible. Um, with, what, but with, it, go ahead. Or as you know, with all the the national parks out here, to, you know, the hiking, you know, camp. It, it's just it's a blast. That's awesome. You know, it's interesting as my brother lives in a community called Suncrest right at the base of the mountains. And I think that their water level was like at 2% uh, three weeks ago, but now they're at, uh, due to the fact is they've had like five feet of snow inside of like three weeks. Um, not only was he quarantined because of quarantine, but he was quarantined because he couldn't get the plows up into his neighborhood. We had a very light winter December, January, and then just the middle of February, we got all of the snow within three or four days. Like we just got pounded, which we all needed. No one's really complaining that much, but um, yeah, I can imagine him getting kind of stuck for a couple of days. Um, you know, one of the things I always like to find out from people is if you could sit down with dinner with anybody, you know, dead or alive, who would that person that you would sit down with? Being a big sports fan and my dad and growing up, my dad was a big Willie Mays fan. Okay. And I would just, just the, the type of person that I, I mean, obviously I don't know him, but just reading books about him, just seeing old highlights of him play, what he had to go through. I think that would be one. I mean, there's probably many others, but I think that's one that I probably would enjoy sitting down with dinner, asking him his life stories and obviously, you know, talking shop baseball and stuff. So I think it'd be Willie Mays. All right. Now you obviously athletics has played a big part in your life. Did you have any high school senior superlatives 
um, that you were, were, were granted in your senior year or junior year? Uh, I was named coach, uh, coach award of the year, my senior year on my, uh, my team, my junior year, we were second in the nation rated second in the nation, El Dorado high school out of, um, Placentia, California. We had five guys drafted off of that team. Um, obviously I wasn't one of them, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, uh, playing in, in a competitive league that that was, I just felt like um, that's what made me and understand the game, just being able to play with that type of level of competition. So, you know, that it translates, you know, because I've heard the word coach a couple of different times and it translates a lot to kind of the direction that I've seen in our relationship as far as with regards to podium. And I don't know if it's necessarily specifically something with you or podiums so pushes downwards is that there's a tremendous consultative approach that is taken towards the agencies that allows them to specifically kind of say, hey, I have these questions. How can you coach and guide me? Um, and I, I think that that's just a great inherent quality in any organization is to provide their partners and members the opportunity to understand specifically they're there to support and, and be there for them. Um, you know, some of our audience might not know who Podium is. Um, some of our audience are probably using Podium. I know that there's many clients that we have that do. Um, how would you, if we were, you know, sitting at that football game on a Friday night um, that you weren't coaching and that you were watching and we were in the stands together and I would say, hey, you know, where do you, where do you work, Mike? And you say, I work at Podium. And I'd say, yeah, I've seen that sign on, on the 15 for that building before. Um, what is Podium in your 30 second elevator pitch that for the, for the viewers that don't know what Podium is? Bill, uh, Podium really is what we refer to as an interaction management platform. Now that verbiage kind of gets lost in translation, but really it comes down to it. It's a, it's a communication platform that allows businesses to communicate uh, with, their with their customers, clients, um, via messaging, text messaging, um, whether it's, you know, SMS text, whether it's Facebook Messenger, whether it's Google, Google click to message. We know that the way people are communicating now more effectively is through messaging. And so the Podium platform allows you to continue to start to grab leads all through messaging. Um, and so it's just a, it, it's a software that allows local businesses to, to communicate with their, with their clients. You know, um, I know that it is a product that's effectively used by the home services industry. I know it's a product that's effectively used by the automobile industry. Um, dentists, doctors, is there any industry that couldn't use Podium? It, it, that you asked that question, as, as we look at into it, we have five, six really strike zone verticals that we focus in, like you mentioned, home services, auto, auto services, healthcare, retail, professional services. Those are our strike zones. And if you fall into that realm, we are so confident that Podium can just really improve your business. But to, to be honest with you, if you're any type of local business, Podium, it, there are podium that can really help drive revenue for you and, and make your life a lot easier as a business owner. Um, so understanding that there's that interactive management aspect of things, talk about some of the different 30,000 foot level products that when you say interactive management, you know, I know that a lot of the potential viewers are going to be able to say, I heard about something with the reviews and how they work reviews. Um, Tell me about some of the different high level aspects of the product. Platform has a bunch of different products within the platform. One, people might know us as reviews, right? We help local businesses gather reviews, Google reviews, Facebook reviews, even reviews for specific industries, right? So that's kind of where we started. Then we have our inbox, which our inbox mostly refers to as our messaging tool. We're able to pull all these different types of interactions into one inbox. So we'll connect your Facebook Messenger, your Google click to message, pull that all into one inbox. So you're only managing one inbox. You don't have to manage all these different types of methods that people are trying to connect with your business. Um, 
So we have a web becomes a central hub yeah. for your management platform. Absolutely. Um, and then we have a team chat product, right? That now not only you're managing exterior um, communication, but interior, right? So your 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 employees, um, you can manage that all through. Everyone can be on the podium platform, have the app, and communicate that way. Um, we have a web chat widget that goes on your website. That's a great lead generator, captures um, leads and the fact that now you're gathering people's name, cell phone number and turning that communication into a text message. So now you can have ongoing communication via text message with your, your potential clients, your existing clients. Um, the way technology is, people don't want to pick up the phone and call right? Like it's just the way the demographics is moving. I mean, if you're 50 and under, your preferred way is probably text messaging. Um, and so, so we do that. And then another product is um, uh, our payments tool, right? You can send text or you can text out payment requests that people can just pay with their credit card right on their phone. Uh, that's been huge since the whole pandemic. Right, touchless pay, being able to send out payment requests via text message. Um, we know that people look at their messages, right? So like I know. Things let's go back for a second. So yeah, businesses have had to adapt to the no contact lead gen. Businesses have had to adapt to the no contact um, service call. Now you guys have taken it to the next level and say we're going to provide you the no contact communication that you can do everything you want and be a one centralized platform to be able to push that out. Is that what I'm picking up here? Yeah. Seeing is you have online stores and online businesses and offline businesses. And I think because of this pandemic, I think those are merging together and you're going to have to find a way that you can do both. You just can't expect people to walk through your door anymore, right? And start asking you questions. You can't expect them to just pick up the phone and ask you questions anymore. You need to modernize the way that you do business in the way that people are doing business. The whole adage was businesses email and call, but people text and message. And so if you can transition your way to allow your business to become textable, become messageable, you can answer questions, you can service them all through communication or all through technology, that's when you become the obvious choice. That's when you become convenient to, build, to, to do business with. We have a video chat capability through Podium as well. And so if you're a healthcare provider or if you're a retail store or if you're home services, and they don't, you don't want to go into the home or they don't want to leave their home, text out a link, turns on their video chat, and now you can have, whether it's telehealth, well, it's like, hey, plumber, this is what is going on with my pipes, right? This is the noise that I'm hearing. You can take care of that all virtually now through the Podium platform. It, it's, it's very interesting because, you know, like I said, when uh, five years ago, when I first kind of got involved with, with Podium, uh, might have been four and a half, but you know, it really was a review management solution. Would you say that your client feedback has been the driver for how the product has evolved? Podium takes they feedback from their customers, and our CEO Eric Ray, what he's always said is, "How you succeed is build something that people want." Right. When we came with came out with reviews, reviews was great. That was like, like you said, four and a half, five years ago, that was the new up and coming thing. Businesses needed reviews. It helped with local SEO. It, you know, people are reading reviews. They still are. So if you think reviews are dead, not true. Um, people will find you. They want to look at your reviews. If you have a ton of reviews, good star rating, the likelihood of them choosing you over your competition, a lot better. But what we found that is, reviews and then how do we communicate you know people are people are on their phones they're living on their phones but they're not calling so maybe we can turn conversations into text messages that make it easier to connect with the business and then the whole payments thing and then video chat um, we're coming out with a new product called campaigns that really boils down to sms messaging or uh, promo messaging 
right? So I can get messages out, you know, promotional messages or educational messages out to, you know, my, my customer base fast, easy. And we know 98% of text messages are looked at. Yeah. So, you know, it's interesting. One of the, one of the things that I, I love about your product is how, um, especially in the home services industry, how it integrates with service Titan. Um, and, you know, for the moment that that tech is closing that job to be able to say, we've closed the job. We know the client's happy. Their problem has been solved. We're sending the message. And then 98% of all messages being open and that deep linking integration that you have with Google, as far as any one of those potential apps, it makes it really a seamless transition for the end user to give the review. And, you know, it's, all, it's, it's funny is because I think that when I look at Podium um, versus looking at just a straight review situation, more than likely nine times out of 10, when I'm not prompted by somebody that obviously has Podium, um, I don't tendency to give the good review as comparatively where I'm more likely to give the negative interaction that I've had versus the good because I haven't been prompted in some way. Um, I think that that type of communication that has, um, you know, it really makes it unique for the end user to be able to have a voice positively and negatively. And I think that's, that's one of the really, really good things that Podium has to offer um, is the technology itself the deep linking integration that it has and how it affects, you know, uh, that client's perspective um, to be able to give back customer feedback. Yeah, you're right on, Bill. I, I think people are willing to leave reviews as long as one, you prompt them, right? Because we're going a mile a minute, like, hey, can you leave a review? Yeah, I will. And they go home and they kind of forget. But if you prompt them in a way that they'll see it, which is through text message. And then if you make that process super easy and convenient. And that's what I love about the podium um, review portion of it. It's a two-step process. It's going to take them 20 or 30 seconds to leave a, a review. If you have to jump from screen to screen, log in here, log in there, you're going to exhaust them and they're just not going to leave a review, even though they probably had a great experience. So if you can prompt them right as that experience ended, and you can give them a platform that makes it so seamless and easy to leave a review, you're going to get reviews from people. We live in a review society now. People, you know, whether it's Amazon, Google, like people are reading reviews when they're looking for a plumber, a dentist, uh, a lawyer, you name it. They're, they're looking at reviews. So, you know, it's interesting is that when you look at, uh, you look at the product overall, it's like, we, like we were saying, we go back five years and where the product was and where it's evolved to, where do you kind of see Podium going in the next two to three years? I think ultimately what we want to do and what our adage is, or what our verbiage is moving forward is we want to own 100% of communications and 100% of payments for local businesses. And when we talk through that, having all the different products that we have helps that, right? Web chat, video chat. Uh, we're starting to look into voice possibly go, you know, you know, people being able to connect all into one platform and then have the ability to send out text payments, right? To receive text, um, even, you know, card readers uh, down the road. And why we see the importance of that is now you're connecting the circle, right? Now the ROI is easy to find, right? They find you on your website because of reviews. They go to your website, they message in, they set up an appointment, they have the procedure or the service. They come in, they leave a review, you send a, a, text, uh, a text to receive payment, and then they pay you. Then you see your ROI and you see that entire customer experience is so easy, seamless, and it, you just become the obvious business. And then, like you said, if they leave the review, they kind of have you in, your phone, in their phone. Six months later, eight months later, they hear something ticking or something going on on their furnace. They just message you, hey, I got a quick question. You become that much easier to connect. You're not calling, sitting on hold, you know, you know, kind of doing the old fashioned way. Now that's the way convenience is what wins in the modern business now. You know, it's, it's funny because the fact is that 
I hate responding via mobile. I am such much more a desktop responder. Call it whatever reason you will, old school, you know, old school guy wants to type on a keyboard. But what I, what I think is that when I'm looking at Podium as an overall whole, to be able to say that I have a centralized, that I can manage my Facebook, I can manage my GMBs, I can manage all of the different review platforms that I want, really kind of just makes it so much easier because what I tell our clients and what we practice here ourselves is that whether the review be good or bad, you got to respond. And, you know, from that, not only do you have to respond, but on the good reviews, it's great to use some keyword centric aspects back in the review of why that person did so that you can help from a local SEO standpoint. Um, you know, like I said, I've been a big fan of the product for, for many years. Um, and I think it'll continue to evolve. Um, you know, when you look at te technology hubs, um, Salt Lake City is an incredible location for that. And what, you know, from the data centers that are there to the different companies that are there, from one SEO being there uh, and having another office in Salt Lake City, it's, uh, you know, for us, we feel very lucky to be a part of that community. Um, you know, one of the things that we like to do is give the audience your final roar. Um, Mike Pavia gets to be the, 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 with the digital lion and the digital shark today and, and blast out his thoughts about what makes Podium unique and what you would give to our audience. So Mike, the final roar is yours. Thank you so much for be, letting me be part of this. Um, we have absolutely loved the relationship we've had with One SEO uh, over the number of years. And at the end of the day, we feel like the partnership we have with One SEO has just uh, helped both companies out. So first of all, thank you. Um, as for Podium, we are a rocket ship. We are growing fast, as you mentioned, Bill. When I started three years ago, I was employee 205. Now we own 950 employees. We are just growing. But I think what has really helped is the product works, right? It works. If you were a local business, you were seeing the way that you're doing business now is way different than it was five, 10 years ago. And if it's not, you're probably not doing very well. And so where Podium can really come in and help your business it can modernize, and I keep using that word, modernize the way that customers are connecting with businesses now. And being able to handle all types of communication, all within one central inbox, allows you a, a product that allows you to grab leads, generate lead, convert those leads, um, and allows you to get paid faster, uh, makes it more convenient for your own business to use Podium and all your employees, but also your customers, right? having the ability to message in, ask questions, um, make payments. Uh, it, it just becomes what we refer to as that platform that reduces the tech stack. We know every business has so many different, you know, softwares that they're using. Um, if you can kind of reduce that tech stack, Podium just becomes the platform that can one, help you 100% of communication, 100% of, 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 of payments, and just allows you to grow and to move into the future as a business needs to. Um, and, and, and Podium can, can do that. Um, it's not uncommon to hear a 6% increase in revenue because of Podium. Um, we just want to really help that local business grow and, and just do well. I mean, we know that the, the, the economy, the U.S. economy, you know, it, small businesses, local businesses, that's where it's at, right? And if we can help them grow, we know we can do that. Mike, thanks so much for your partnership and thanks for being on The Den today. We, uh, we truly are excited about the partnership that we have with Podium. Um, any one of the, the, the people that are in the audience today are more than welcome to reach out to anybody at One SEO and they'd be happy to talk about the partnership that we have with Podium, the incremental increases that it can bring across the board. I think you left it with one final thing. People that use your product have a 6% increase in their revenue year over year, and that's not something to shake a stick at. So uh, we appreciate uh, all the good stuff that uh, Podium does for One SEO, and we're looking forward to continuing the relationship. Thanks so much, Mike. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to follow me at Lance Bachman on Instagram and Twitter. Follow me on Facebook at Lance Bachman Digital. And every Thursday we drop a new podcast. Don't forget to listen to it. We're giving out great content. And remember this, this is the time to build your business right now. Let's effing go, everybody.